Hello, old friend. Oh, it's got no fuel. Great. Alright, so guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. This has been a long time coming. Can you remember that I have an E92 M3? Me either. A long while ago, I started putting some suspension on the car. <laughs> And then I realized pretty quickly when I looked underneath the car that, you know, the subframe was rotten, the control arm had been messed up when we put those in, and... The steering pump was broken, and it needed an alignment, and... On and on and on. This went on for quite a while. There was sort of a list of things that needed to be done. So I ended up taking this car off the road and taking it to Evolve Automotive to get sorted, because A, I have been here, there, everywhere, and I haven't really had time to sort this car out, so I just kind of sent it over to the lads at Evolve. I said to Aston, can you please sort this out for me? And today is the day that I get my car back. Sorry, I've arrived at Evolve Automotive today, and we are back in the United 2. This is exciting. It means we can actually get cracking with this car now because, you know, slightly more structurally sound than it was before. Oh my God. I've been driving different cars this week and like my clutch, my clutch foot has got no idea how heavy or not this pedal is. So we're gonna take a look at the underneath of this car so I can show you what has been changed, why I've spent so much money on it, because um, I probably need to explain it to myself, really. But it's great, the car's back on the channel, it's very exciting. Right, let's not run this into a big pile of Eventuri intakes. One sec. Hi, Aston, good to see you again. Good to have you back doing? on the channel. Good, good. This is exciting, I've got my car back. Finally. Uh, yeah, fair play to the guys at Evolve because they did tell me that it was ready about mid-July. It is now August and I literally just haven't been in the country long enough for me to come down and get it. So my dad very kindly took me down today, which is very cute. He was very excited to see all the BMWs and stuff. He's living the dream, isn't he? He's a lovely Love boy. Him. He's a very nice man. Very so nice. we have got this back and it's in some way, shape or form now more road worthy. And also for you that put my like put my reg into the MOT checker. Thanks so much for letting me know that my MOT was out of date. That is all sorted now. We had people messaging on. Ah, uh, stop. What was it on? I think it might have been TikTok or Instagram, and someone actually commented on message and was like, "There's no MOT on that." Oh, get a like, grip. Yeah, it's on the. It's in our shop down <sighs> the road. I won't lie. It really winds me up. Like if you. I mean, how much time have you got in a day to go check in someone else's MOT status? Like, obviously, way too much time. <laughs> rant over. So we had this car in here because the subframe was wrecked. Before we carry out any work we're just going to take a quick look at what we're changing and why. So obviously the main reason is the subframe crack in here where it's corroded through so we'll change the whole subframe. While we're there we're going to do these brake lines because they're also corroded so they're likely to snap when we try and undo them. Power steering pump was wrecked. The alignment was wrecked. The, uh, the bushes were wrecked. The front wheel bearing was wrecked. The front, was the wheel bearing wrecked as well? Driver's front wheel bearing was gone, yeah. Lovely. Now, I don't know whether this is just my bad maintenance or I just picked a car that probably needed these things doing and then I drove it a bit like a dick and then it just kind of exacerbated all said problems. Gonna go with probably the latter. Because um, I did take this car drifting for a day and I think if the subframe was already rotten, Putting that amount of stress through the rear of the car probably didn't help things. But look, cars are there to be driven, cars are there to be fixed. So we have now fixed it. We're gonna take a little quick look at what's been done underneath. And yeah, then we're gonna get on the road. And it's now back onto the journey of getting this car looking sweet. Ah, yes, I remember this. I still need to get the little, the badges to put on there. You probably can't see this power steering pump too well, but it's there. Perfect. You see a bit of it. Was it broken then? Because that's what that whining noise was. It was making a fairly yeah, fierce was, whining noise. The were noisy. Oh, did we, did we, we kept the parts, I think. I'm sure we kept the parts. Again, it's one of those things, you know, when you have like a semi-nice car and then it makes loads of noises which are really embarrassing when you're there in the car park. It's like, no, it's meant, it's meant to do that. It wasn't meant to do that. Just FYI. Oh, okay. That was your old bearing off the front. Mm, delish. Noisy, and then the power steering pump, the same. I just want to get that and just like launch it. <laughs> but yeah, so like obviously when I got this car, the plans for it were the plenum, and I had the bear no bearings done first. Then we had the plenum done. Then I attempted to put the suspension on, that which went it, great. that went great. Great. Not that well, uh, but it's on. That's the main thing. 
and then it was supposed to be wheels, tyres, then we were going to get round to maybe putting a fly-off handbrake on there, and then the last sort of frontier was the bodywork and the paint with some nice carbon on. So we're back on that journey. It's not all Slight in the bin. It's like, it's like, you know, six Slight month delay. A little bit off, but we're back again. We're back. We're good. It's going to be fine. Right, mush. Yeah. So, how's the empire? Oh yeah, I forgot you had the... Uh... Oh well, yeah, I got nice little spinners. I think it spins at different rates. Yeah, it's a bit, no noise. No noise. Fantastic. Silent. It has the tires on it actually. Yeah, they're grand. I've got new ones coming for it anyway, but... Oh, you got new so, right last time when I looked underneath here... She was bad. Oh, look at this. Got lovely fresh subframe. Got good. lovely new Powerflex bushes. Got a lovely new control arm. With the right bolt in it. With the right bolt in it. Oh my god. I don't even know. Like, now it's actually out of it and I can talk about it. We put a bolt in just to secure the strut into the control arm. But I think we found the bolt, like, just in a drawer yeah, somewhere. Yeah, on the end. And just, like, put a nut on the end of it, like, which is pretty dangerous. We're also changing this camber arm because of the threads being damaged in here and it being nut and bolted. So we're going to change that and put a new bolt in as well. So you wouldn't go too far, but, but it's not it's, ideal for, especially how you drive it. I, I was just using a chocolate bolt to yeah. keep the suspension in but it here. Held. It held. It did hold. And anyway, look, I've replaced <clears throat> it all. This yeah, is all lovely. So did you did they turn the shock around as well? Turn the spring around? Um, I can't remember. Was that still the wrong we, way around? No, there was a rubber. That was missing, it. Wasn't there? there was the a rubber, rubber missing from there, which I don't know where that we went put a new as well. One out on. Thank you. Um, and then, yeah, we've done the control arm on this side with the new bolt. Yeah. The external stuff we managed to salvage because we didn't really use, we didn't take any of this off on the hub side. Yeah. We only took this bolt out, which was fine, so we reused that. Fab. <clears throat> Obviously, the whole subframe. Which That's is, very exciting. That's all lovely and fresh. Lovely and fresh. Which I got brand new from, from BMW. BMW. And then we so pressed legit. the bushes out and we put new subframe bushes in from Powerflex. Lovely. We also pressed out the bushes for the diff at the rear and put new ones in that. Yep. And we pressed them out of the front and put new Powerflex in that. Lovely. And we did, you can't see it, but we've done the anti-roll bar D bushes. They're on the top, so yeah. you won't be able to see them. And we've done the front ones, which again, you can't see because you've got the armature tray on. You might be able to see a little bit. Yeah, that looks like looking for the flash of purple. So basically, she's like a new machine. She's fresh. She's good. Yeah, and look, like, big, big thank you to Evolve for looking after my car for me and looking after me with stuff because this uh, retail is very expensive. It's still very expensive, the price I'm paying anyway, but it's just they've looked after me massively with the parts and the labour because. This is my first, like, big, big bill for this car, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's probably the biggest thing you've done so far. I mean, yeah, because I've been really thing, and shit then, and not yeah. done anything with it. So, like, the, the hold fire. There's probably more coming Once my way. Once the paint comes, then you know you're into... Yeah, the, the paint's going to... So I'm probably going to be somewhere in the region of 10 grand into this car by the end of the year. Yeah. But it'll be worth it. It'll look good. It drives well. Yes. I mean, yeah, we've done, uh, we've done your brake lines as well. Because they broke when we were coming off. Yeah. So we put new brake lines. Again, it's all genuine BMW what stuff. What do you need those for anyway? What brake lines? I'm joking. Yeah, just so yeah. so hydraulic, right? <laughs> well, I can't wait to actually put a hydro handbrake on this. I feel like it'll be great. I think it worked pretty well. It will do. Yeah, and it'll just stuff. be it'll be good crack just to have like a street car with, with a hydraulic with handbrake. Hydro. All the way up here. <laughs> yeah, literally. Just looking through the windscreen. Yeah. I think that was that everything. We yeah, pretty brake much. Line, subframe. Bushes, yeah. control arm, bolt, new camber and tow bolts because they were seized, so it makes it easier to, to do the alignment. Yeah. Uh, the power flexes, the disc bushes. I keep looking at exhaust for this car. I think that was it. What exhaust would you get? Because I don't want to overpower. You don't want to overpower the Eventuri. The Eventuri, because yeah. obviously, like if you put too much of a loud exhaust on it, then yeah. you lose like the air intake sound. I mean, which if is... you're not if you're not going to do primary cats, then you could do like an exhaust mod or and from the back box, that sound pretty good. Yeah. Or if you don't want anything too loud, just do the primary cat delete. On the list, anyway. on the list. Well, this is delightful. I'm actually, I can't wait to drive this back now and actually take it for a bit of a spin. But yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. No time to take this uh, little girl home. Anytime. Always, when you're looking around this garage, there's always something fun in here, including this, is it 996? Yeah, it's 996. GT3 RS. What's he doing with that now? Probably doing lots of cool stuff with it. Oh, this little Z3M is so clean, it's ridiculous. 
I've never seen a silver car with just such good paint. Did he have it re-sprayed? Where? Did we have the Z8 when you lost case? No, that's his new acquisition, isn't it? No, I know. I've seen that on Instagram. He just loves these things, doesn't he? This is a piece of BMW history. I think I've driven one of these. I've driven the Heritage one that they had in the BMW collection. Yeah, I have. Yeah, very pretty. I can just imagine it in round with the hair, you know, wind blowing in his hair. French Riviera, giving sunglasses it all. On. Sunglasses on, Bunch, uh, Evolve hat on. Cigar. Yeah, I'd say it'd be more of a vape. Yeah, Less cigar, cigar, more vape. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty little thing, isn't it? Classic. I, I mean, he knows how I feel about the wheels on this car. Do you like them? I'm not the biggest fan, but I, uh, it's one of those ones where you can appreciate everyone else's different styling notes. I love the color, but yeah, it's a look. The old cop. Yeah, well look, exactly. If everything was to everyone's taste, it'd be boring, right? Right, I'm gonna go pay the man, pay the man. Well, that's going to be a shock to the system. First thing I needed to do, because I had 10 miles left in the tank, was go get some fuel. And I've had the electric car for the last few months, last four months, whilst I've been sorting this car out. Fill it, 114 quid. Let's see how long this lasts. Probably not that long. It's going to kill me having a V8 again, but delightful. Get my car back. Can't wait to go take it for a drive. Ooh. It's time to go and test out this new right. I'm going to go test drive it. Oh, turn that down. Oh yes, darling, we live in the country now. We give way for tractors. So, confession, I took the car home from Evolve, got stuck in a ton of traffic. The M1 was a disaster. By the time I got home, I was like, ugh, I'm hot. And I didn't take the car out for a drive. First impressions, getting the car back, I'm absolutely delighted. I mean, you can really hear the sound of the thing. Now you don't have that, you know, power, power steering pump whine all over the top of it. Oh, there's a cyclist and there's a man behind me. Go salute, salute. Yep, nope, classic, English. What I have noticed straight away with the car is the fact that I have no extraneous noises anymore. Like it's just nice and quiet. You don't have the whirring of the wheel bearing. You don't have the sort of whining noise of the power steering pump. And the back of the car feels less nervous. I don't know, it felt weird. It just felt wafty, it felt strange. And now, maybe it's just, maybe it's psychosomatic. Maybe it's just the fact that I know now that it's not broken. I'm like, oh, okay, feels great. But the car is, sounds wicked. Oh, the noise of the intake. You know, this is one of the things I was talking about because of the exhaust. I was like, do I need a big noisy exhaust on it when I've got this? Like, I don't know, Oh, bridge, ready? Mm. Delish, why did, oh, there's people up there. You know when you just do something and then you're like, oh God, I have to drive past someone. <laughs> Anywho, my point is the car feels great. I'm really, really glad to be back on the road with it and be able to start getting stuck into it. I am going to put some wheels on the car very, very soon. I have them already, just getting my tires and then I'll send it for another alignment because I want it to be driving semi straight, you know, might help. But for right now, I'm actually just kind of enjoying having the car back and being able to enjoy it because it's been a long while since I've been able to enjoy this car. So stick with me lads, I appreciate your patience with me because I know it's been a while since I've actually managed to do anything with this vehicle. Savage. I love it. That's why I bought this car. It is worth saying a big, big thank you to the guys at Evolve Automotive for A, looking after me with the car, B, not getting on at me when I couldn't get the car back for at least a month, and C, just generally being a bunch of good eggs. If you ever need anything done on your BMW M3, E92, whatever it is, BMW, take it to them. But thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate you, every single one of you. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. Uh, we should be back on track. Other than that, take care of yourselves. It's really good to see you, and I'll see you super duper soon. Delish.